YouTube. Got another video here. We're going to try and fix a Sony Bravia TV. Is it worth fixing an old LCD TV, you say? Well, maybe, maybe not. That's what we're going to find out. Uh, you can get 4K flat screen TVs now 55, 65, 75 inches for less than $500 sometimes. So there's not a lot of room uh, in, in the repair budget that, that would make it worthwhile. But in this case, it is, a, it is a Sony Bravia. I know it's got a fairly uh, gentle history in terms of how it was used. And it just quit all of a sudden. Uh, the people who had it were going to throw it out. I thought, well, I'll take a look at it before we, before we put it in the trash. And that's what this video is about. Let me add a safety reminder before we get started. Uh, all work on your TV should be done with the power disconnected. Don't ever work on a circuit that's plugged into power. And in this example, I'm looking at an LCD TV. And if you happen to have a plasma TV, don't take those apart. They use very high voltages internally and can be dangerous. Uh, even if unplugged, they can store voltages. So only complete this if you're comfortable working with electronic or electric devices and only on LCD TVs, nothing, uh, nothing plasma based. I've got it set up on a little stand here so we can look at it and see what it's doing. Here's the remote. And as you can see, if I can focus on that, power doesn't do anything. Power doesn't do anything. None of the buttons do. Won't light up. Won't respond at all. There's no uh, indicator light on the TV. There's no indication that it's alive at all. Uh, it was working when, uh, when it was last checked on. Uh, the next day we came in and nothing. So that, that uh, seems suspicious. Okay, so prop your TV up in a place where you can get to it. Uh, I've set mine here on the couch. You can set it uh, on the floor. You can set it on your bed, on a blanket. Just set it someplace safe that the screen won't get damaged while you work on the back of it. Basically, you got to remove every screw you can find on the back of this, this set. Um, there may be a few screws that are not related to taking the cover off, but in, in the case of this TV, almost every screw that I could find was related to getting the cover off. And once you get once you get all of those out, just the cover should come off. I can't get that screw. Let's see. Once you get the back off the TV, there's not a lot of complexity here. There's several major areas that you can easily focus your repair attention on. You have the power supply board here in the center. You have the logic board over here on the right. You have the LCD controller in this metal lined box at the top. And you have the LCD backlight over here on the left. Now this is an older TV and these boards may be a little larger than you'll see in a newer TV but conceptually you will see the same kind of layout in any modern LCD TV. Power board, controller board, logic board, and backlight. I had actually uh, gone ahead and gone to eBay and found a replacement board, power supply board, which I assumed was the problem since the TV wouldn't power on or light up at all. And I found one for $25 and I went ahead and had it shipped. If I had done a little bit of checking, I might could have saved myself about $20, but uh, I just assumed that the power supply board was probably bad and went ahead and ordered a replacement and, and planned on just swapping it out and checking to see if that would resolve the problem.
There are several other websites that sell parts for uh, old TVs. One of the good ones is a place called Electro Parts, and oftentimes they will have uh, the board that you need, and, and they'll guarantee that it's a functioning product as well. So uh, whether you choose eBay or Electro Parts or uh, any, any number of third-party sites that sell parts, usually you can find what you need at, a, at an affordable price. All right, to remove this board, you've got some screws in the corners here. One there, one there, one over here, a couple on the side and the top. And you've also got to remove these, these cables. There's a little tab there that you press to release those connectors. You've got to remove any wires that plug in, like this connector here. Never pull these connectors by the wires. You have to hold them by the connector. Press the little detent button on them that will release the the wire from the, or the connector from the board, and pull it that way. Same with this power connector here. Press the little detent, pull the connector off. Same with these two here three here. You press the detent and pull the connector off the board. Do not pull the wires directly or you'll mess up your repair before you get started. Okay, so I pulled the power supply board out of the TV and just looking at it, you don't really see any burn mark or Anything to indicate that a lightning strike had had popped anything. Looks pretty good, just from casual inspection. Where the power comes in is actually right here in this corner. And there is a fuse here. You notice the little white connectors where the power comes in. And then just underneath that copper coil, there is a ceramic fuse. You can't check ceramic fuses by looking at them. You have to check them with a meter. And this particular fuse is soldered in. It's not intended to be removed by the end user. So let's take a look at that fuse with a meter and see what it looks like. Okay, so the way you measure resistance with a meter, or continuity with a meter, is to put it in the ohm setting. You can see I've got it on 200k ohms, and it's showing nothing right now, just a 1, which means no reading. If I get these where you can see them here. If I short the leads together, you see you get a reading of zero, which means there's no resistance between those two points. We have a good connection there. So if we go to this fuse, you can see the meter does not change. There is no connection through that fuse. The fuse is blown. So in all likelihood, that's what's wrong with this with this power supply board. The fuse is blown. Now, in this case, you'd have to desolder it and put a new one in. I had actually purchased another power supply board off of eBay, and I'm just going to swap it out completely. But now that I know that this board has a blown fuse, I can probably just replace that fuse, and this board would would work fine I could sell it and get my money back so the actual cost of repairing this thing is probably less than a few dollars okay I have removed the screws and removed the connectors and placed the new board on the TV reattach the screws and reattach the connectors this is the easiest way to attempt to repair a faulty board is just to buy a replacement board and swap the whole thing out.
you don't have to be a technician that can go in and check individual components on the board. You just replace the whole board. Like I mentioned earlier, this board was like $25. So TV repair, $25 if this works. And I believe it will. Notice the old board and the new board are exactly alike. And that will generally be the case. If you buy the matching board, they should look exactly the same. All right, the big moment. Let's see what happens. We got a light on, on the Sony logo. Hey, look at that. Success. Well, there you go. Another exciting repair completed. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty corny, I know. Well, that's, that's about it. Turns out in this case, it, it was worthwhile to take a look at the TV before discarding it. Uh, kind of hard to throw things away that you know have, have had a gentle life and, and just quit in what seems like an inappropriately early time frame. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, checking out the channel. If you haven't subscribed, it means a lot to the channel if you would consider subscribing. If you found the video useful, go ahead and, and give me a thumbs up there. And if you didn't find it useful, click that thumbs down button twice. Um, I appreciate you watching. Uh, check out some of the other videos on this channel. It's all about how to keep an old house from falling down around your ears and other technology and, and interesting things that kind of strike my fancy. I appreciate you tuning in and I hope to see you next time. Thanks.